Lahanta Gold is a top tier gold and silver exploration company. And with me is the CEO, Kimberly, at one of the mines in Nevada. And welcome to the 500th show. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here and honored to be a part of the show, actually. Yeah, quite a milestone. So tell me about Lahanta Gold. For people who haven't seen our previous interviews, talk to me about the company. Yeah, Lahat Gold Corp is a newer story to the market. It's only been around for 60 months publicly. Uh, but we have four assets at the Walker Lane in Nevada, a top tier jurisdiction. Our Santa Fe flagship asset is a past producer of gold and silver, uh, open uh, pit, heat, heat bleach style operation, one gram of rock, very good grades and uh, recoveries. Uh, our West Santa Fe asset, we just got to be a bolt-on satellite project to Santa Fe. But really, when you think about La and Gold Corp, uh, we believe that we want people to think about that we are the oxide consolidator of Nevada because that is the easiest thing and lowest cost to extract out of the ground. Yeah. Talk to me about precious metals. Um, I don't think people realize how important gold and silver are to everyday items that we use. So talk about how they play into our future. Yeah, that's a good question. And it's really important for people to understand that all metals are critical. Gold and silver are no exception. Uh, there's a lot of silver and solar panels, for example. Gold is part of the connection to all the right that you can think of. So it's not just lithium and cobalt and all the things that you hear in the news um, to build cars and such, because I think they forget about the, the little components. But at the end of the day, they're all important. Um, and we just don't have enough of it. So the message I always say is, you know, you should be thinking about as far as your portfolio gobbling up out of the metals because they're just, we can't make through them. And we need to all, all across the world, we need to construct companies in production. And you have mentioned that uh, the Santa Fe project was a past producer. Do you plan to bring that mine back into production? Well, that is the goal, uh, of course. We uh, have been doing a fair amount of drilling the past year and a half. We're trying to get the project to a critical level where we can make a production decision. We currently have about a million ounces of oxide, which is a fantastic number, um, but total resources we have is 1.7 million ounces. So if we can add three to 500,000 more ounces, then it really warrants us to push it uh, through the production, you know, through the permitting, get the production as quick as possible. In parallel with that, though, we believe in this so much that we are doing a very extensive permit that takes about a year and a half. It's called a plan of operation. And this allows all the studies to bring in ball to make sure there's not anything in ditches or raptors, or we call the bugs and buddies. The important things we need to make sure that when we go back to production, we're being responsible. So absolutely, that is the focus. I hope next year when I'm talking to you, they'll work in a production. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Kimberly, for joining us from Nevada. I have a question for you, Miss Jane. Okay. So yeah. five other episode, how how have you been so successful? Like what's your what's your, you know, thing you've got going on that makes it the magic of the show? Well, I'll tell you, I love what I do, I love to talk to people like you, CEOs that are doing innovative, entrepreneurial things. Um, I think that's, that's great and so interesting about all this innovation that's going on and just persistence, curiosity, yep. persistence. It's hard work, right? <laughs> yeah, it is hard work, but that's okay. I'd be bored otherwise. Thank you for having us. I really appreciate being a part of your Thank program. you. No, it's great to see you.